You know, two or three dozen people from the NFL arrived in Kansas City last night to check out the site you see behind me for themselves. Kansas City knows what it's like to host hundreds of thousands of people in the Liberty Memorial Union Station area. It's the same place where both the Chiefs and the Royals celebrated their last world championships. Over 300,000 are expected to attend in person. With 99 days to go, the city's finance committee today approved spending one and a half million dollars to pay for all the local people needed to roll out the red carpet for the NFL. 7,000 people already have registered to volunteer or work the events. So when you think about any event we host in our city, whether that's a Big 12 or a convention, even events like at Arrowhead and things like that, there are volunteers, there's apparel, there's transportation, security, anything and everything that comes to putting that together. I think what's great about this commitment of our financial commitment, that money stays here in the community. It's not like we're paying the NFL, we're paying our people back to make this event great. The Sports Commission is raising an additional $2 million in private money to pay for staging the draft. Nelson says the return on investment is huge for the community. An estimated $10 million in income, sales, and restaurant taxes, and about $105 million in total spending for hotels, food and drink, transportation, retail sales, and recreation. In all, Nelson says the draft will bring in about $154 million in spending for the local economy. You know, when you have a chance to get 50 million views on television and probably three or 400 million views in three years at the, with the World Cup, this is a great advantage for Kansas City and we need to take advantage of it. As big as the draft will be, it's just a warm up for another record setting event coming to Kansas City when it hosts the World Cup in three years. Yeah, and it's going to be a busy few months in Kansas City even before the NFL arrives. That's because the city is going to host the uh, Mid-America basketball tournaments for that conference, the Big 12 basketball tourneys, of course, an NCAA men's regional in Kansas City this spring, and, of course, the, NI, the NAIA men's basketball tournament. So, a lot, of big, a lot of hosting of basketball coming up before we roll out the red carpet for the NFL. Oh, good.